hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here this follows on we have a raised to power m plus n which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n but this here can write this as a raised to power x times 8 square equals to 60 from here the next step here, I write this as 8 raised to the power x times 8 square, 8 times 8, that's 64. Then equals to 60 on this side. Then, next step here, we divide both side by 64. Let's divide this side by 64. Also divide this side by 64. At this here, 64 cancel each other. And we have 8 raised to the power x equals to 60 over 64. Then next step here, we can write this as 8 raised to the power x equals to 4 times 15 over 4 times 16. At this here, 4 cancelled each other. All we have becomes 8 raised to the power x equals to 15 over 16. At this here, we take the log on both sides. Here we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 15 over 16 here. The next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, here what we have becomes x log 8 equals to log 15 over 16 here. Then, next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. Here, we have log 8 cancelled each other. That is, x equals to log 15 over 16 divided by log 8. Then yeah, this follows log log n. When we have log a over b, the same thing as log a minus log b. At this here, we have x equals to log 15 minus log 16 over log 8 then from here next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 15 over log 8 minus log 16 over log 8 then from what we have here we can express 15 as 3 times 5 that is also 16 can be expressed as 8 times 2 then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 times 5 over log 8 minus log 8 times 2 over log 8. Then, this follows the law of log n. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, all we have becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 5 over log 8 minus here yeah, this now become into brackets log 8 plus log 2 over log 8 
So this minus will affect this bracket. That is, yeah, we now have x equals to when we separate this into two fractions, this becomes log 3 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 minus log 8 over log 8 also minus log 2 over log 8 then from here we have log 8 can see each other one left here which implies what we have can be written as x equals to log 3 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 minus log 2 over log 8 then we have minus 1 and next step here we can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 that's 2 cube and what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube minus log 2 over log 2 cube minus 1. Then we apply the power of log in here. 3 comes there, also here, then from here, and we have x equals to log 3 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 minus log 2 over 3 log 2 minus 1. Then here we have log 2 cancel each other, 1 over 3 left which implies x equals to also here we have 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 plus 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 then we can bring this side together as soon fraction what we have the minus 1 minus 1 over 3 and bring it together and we have SM3 so 1 in 3 that's T3 3 times minus 1 minus 3 and here we have minus 1 so this becomes minus 4 over 3 so that we can rewrite this now and what we have becomes x equals to 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 now applying change of base then plus also 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 then minus 4 over 3 then here yeah, we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the same here now that's 3 and here we have log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 4. That is the value of x here we have log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 4 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 4 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 4 all over 3. Then plus 2 here. This is equal to 60 on this side. That is 
from here. You can bring this part together as well. This two over one, and we have eight raised to power SMOPA. That's three. Then here we have log three base two plus log five base two minus four, then plus six. Now is it equals to sixty on this side? Then here we have six minus four. That's two. You can write as eight raised to power two. Then Plus log three base two plus log five base two all over three is it equals to sixty on this side? And here we can write eight as two cube, which is raised to power two plus log three base two plus log five base two all over three. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 is 2 plus log 5 is 2. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then, yeah, from a law of indices, you can write this and we have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power log. 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then 2 raised to power 2 here, yeah, that's 4 times a follows and we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. At this here, we have 3, then times a 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? The 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 5, 60, which is equals to 60 from here. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 4 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class, and bye for now.